Hey there, my name is Chaos and thank you so much for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. Today I want to talk about joysticks. Uh, joysticks from the 1980s um, that used the DE9 connection um, for systems like the Atari 2600, the Atari ST, uh, Commodore 64, VIC-20, Amiga. They all used the same pinouts and are all compatible. So I want to talk about the techniques they used, which ones are bad, which ones are good, and I want to end up with my personal top three. So, let's go! All joysticks for these consoles were digital, which means they used switches. So when you press to the left or to the right, or if you press a fire button, you're actually pressing, clicking a switch. And there are different types of switches that are being used in these joysticks. Um, there are the pot type switches and leaf switches. And uh, these are really bad. Um, that's a bad design. It's a lot cheaper, but it, it's prone to error and um, breaks down really easy. And there are micro switches, which is the best way. So let's take a look at a few examples. So the first example of a joystick that uses pot type switches is the iconic Atari joystick. And this one came with my Atari 2600 and this one gives you no feedback whatsoever of what you're doing. So this for me is a very bad joystick. If I play on my Atari I never use this joystick. It's just bad. Uh, another one that's uh, almost similar on the inside is this one and this is never a good sign and the only feedback you get when moving this joystick is the crying of the plastic screaming put me out of my freaking misery uh, pot tap switch is a bad one um, I have uh, one joystick in my collection that also uses pot tap switches uh, that doesn't um, suck as bad as the rest this is the Quick Joy Turbo. Pop type switches, but gives you a nice clicky sound. Gives you some feedback of what you're doing. Uh, still prone to error and um, just a bad design. But this one is uh, the only one I could find that didn't suck as bad as the rest. So moving up in the world, micro switches. Um, I think we've all owned a quick shot at one point, and this one uses open micro switches. This is the only one I have that uses that system. A nice clean clicky sound. This is a nice nice joystick. Um, open micro switches, pretty cool. And one that is fully micro switched um, is the PowerPlay Cruiser. Um, I know it's a bit childish looking um, but it's fully micro switched and it's actually a pretty decent joystick. It comes with um, adjustable um, feedback, I guess, resistance. You can set it um, to one, making it very loose. Uh, I guess this is the average setting and this is really stiff. So that's pretty cool. You can set it yourself. Pretty cool joystick. So these were a few examples, so let's now take a look at my personal top three. Number three. Uh, on number three and all joysticks in my top three are excellent joysticks, but this is just my personal preference. Uh, on number three is the Zipstick. And this is, um, I love the build quality of this one, it's, it's so well made and this just just won't break down it's fully micro switched um, it doesn't give me um, the right amount of feedback uh, for my liking but this is this is a great joystick and it's on my number three number two so my number two is probably on the number one spot of a lot of players and that is the competition pro and this is a really a great joystick and um, I love it this is this is a recent pickup of mine um, it's my first competition pro and I absolutely fell in love with this and it's it's so clean and so direct and it just gives 
the right amount of resistance and um, it's just a fantastic joystick. This is this is really an excellent joystick. I'm not, not really sure which version this is. Um, I thought this was the Competition Pro Extra. It's fully micro-switched and it says limited right here. It's a bit faded. But if anyone knows which version this is, please let me know in the comments below. But this is my number two. Number one. So my favorite joystick of all time is the arcade and this is for me this is the best joystick ever this is the one I used um, playing uh, on my Commodore as a kid and this this gives the exact right amount of feedback and um, resistance super precise fully micro switched this is just a great joystick um, when you pick up a joystick like this, um, please note that there are also versions that look exactly the same, but they have a leaf type switch fire button. And you should really get the one with the micro switched fire button, fully micro switched is so much better. Um, they also made the arcade turbo with an extra fire button on top. The extra fire button is a leaf type switch, uh, which you could toggle with this switch on the bottom. But yeah, the one with the one fire button is my personal favorite. They also made it in a different color scheme, this bad boy. This is actually my favorite uh, joystick of my collection. I use this all the time on my Atari 2600. So yeah, this is my number one favorite joystick. Okay, this was my video about joysticks from the 1980s. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to let me know your personal favorites or if you have suggestions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch. Bye bye.